Hi everyone, today we are here at the newly opened Central Market. Yeah, and newly opened because it's been under renovation for more than 10 years and they spent something like more than 500 million on Condola, which is about, uh, I guess about 60 million US dollars. So it's a lot of money. And there's been a lot of debate and what they were doing here. And today we came here because they reopened this last Saturday and we want to explore it. We want to see what they've done and how we can you know, enjoy this place because apparently they've done it for the community. Let's go inside. We are here in the hall of the Central Market and among the other stuff, they have here the plastic of the whole building, how it is, and you can see it's been you know, recreated completely in plexiglass. This is actually interesting. This is how they made the Central Market. They were 3D printing the Central Market structure, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's cool, huh? Yeah. Central Market is a three stories building and every floor has a different function. And, and now we are already in the ground floor which is actually, they have a kind of like food court and canteen where you can also grab a drink. Yeah, they, they, have, they have bars. They yeah, have, they have the bars. And I read that it's planned for entertainment. So in this area over here, you see it's, uh, it's quite wide. So they plan to have in the future concert or you know music and, and so on and so forth. And look at this cool light in here. There's a lot of people taking a photo of this one, so. Yeah, they've done it pretty, pretty cool. It's one of the attractions of the place, I guess. Yeah, it's really nice anytime. Yes, it is. We also have this kind of bar set up with uh, maybe sushi or what. Here they have a beer bar with so many different kind of beer. You can see there are many, many different kind of beers. And one of the things they lately installed in many places here in Hong Kong is this kind of machine to wash your hands. It's pretty cool. Yeah, let me show it to you. So first the soap comes out, then the water, you can do everything in there and finally it gives you the paper so you can clean yourself properly. And it's all self-contained in this machine over here. And here they also have some peculiar things for <laughs> sale, very Chinese ones. We were passing by here and someone stopped me. Oh, look, look, baby, look the sweets, look the sweets. Dolce, dolce. Are you hungry again? Poco, poco. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay, I think we've seen enough of this floor. Yes, and it's really nice here in the ground floor. Makes me hungry though. <laughs> but because it's quite tempting, all the foods that you will see. So. Yeah, and the drinks and everything. And, and drinks. I think it's, as I mentioned before, when they do here events like music or entertainment, it will be a pretty cool venue. Yeah, and we're for sure crowded as well. Yeah. So. All right, let's go see upstairs. Let's go. And it's funny because there's quite a few people photographing the stairs for <laughs> some reason, which I can't really understand why. Well, it's their first time. And then you photograph the stairs? Well, yeah. Okay. Oh, look, 
Oh baby, there's another sweet. Oh, I won. <laughs> yeah, they have quite a few models of chocolate. I don't think you can say model of chocolate, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Sarap naman. Yeah. My Tagalog is getting better and better. <laughs> it's a monkey bar. Guess what? I think this is the new model of their toilet. <laughs> Now, um, what, the, what those things are, um, or is the, I read it, is no, the... No, no, wait, I think I know. If not a toilet, this is a new model of sink. Sure. Now, what it is, is those are the original stalls that years and years ago were present here in the central market. Ah. So what they've done, they preserve it to preserve the history of the place. Ah, now I know why. What do you mean? why they keep on on taking a photo in on the stairs because of this one yeah that's pretty cool i think this is back in the day yep. yeah i think one of the things they are doing is trying to preserve the story of this place and try to you know make the people remember and even in the future know how this place was before which is pretty cool because in Hong Kong, what they normally do is whenever a building is done, mm. they just destroy yeah. it and rebuild a new one. So it's nice if they can preserve some of the story. Yeah, you see they have all the old pictures. They say it was from 1880, but this is already the second generation of the market. So I guess it's older before. And in fact, here they say that it was open in 1842. So yeah quite a while back. I think we better don't go upstairs. Why? Someone is mad up there. <laughs> Por qué? Joke. <laughs> I'm so funny. I was looking around and I think I've lost Lai. I have no idea where she is. So, better try to find her. Ah. Now I know where she is. I was looking for you. <laughs> I'm looking and also strangely something. Strangely, you were near the desserts. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Look, look at this one. I want it. It's a heart. Yeah, have you ever tried it? No, but it's fairly big. Put your hand there for comparison. Yeah, it's a pretty big one. This is the place that they call playground for all. Yeah, it's because apart from a few shops here and there, they have these areas you can see behind us uh, in which you have activities and people can play, especially kids, I guess. But in general, they will have in the future also other activities for adults as well. I think it's a cool idea because it's a place in which people can come and do stuff together, I guess. Where I can leave you and play. <laughs> yeah. If next time you go to go, you have to go shopping, you can go and I will yeah. play here with the cars and everything. Indeed. <laughs> Thank you, my love. You're welcome. You see, there are already a bunch of Nona playing with the sand. I don't want to play there because I'm not Nona yet. Yeah. <laughs> next time. Ah, cool. It's like a digital sand. Quando more pesciolini. Flying pesciolini. Yeah. <laughs> And she's there on the desserts again. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I also love that apart from the renovation itself, they put a lot of plants and a lot of greens. And I was about to fall <laughs> while talking. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's lovely, I guess. With these renovations, they created space for more than 100 stalls and I think it's 70 are already open. And the others will open gradually. And one cool thing also is that all the tenants, all the people that are being selected to, to open a stall here um, have been selected because they kind of represent the Hong Kong culture or they are anyway local businesses that they can put forward the Hong Kong culture and Hong Kong traditions and Hong Kong products, which once again, I think it's meaningful for this city yeah and interesting right yeah yeah absolutely two floors down one more to go let's go up and 
actually this upper floor is open 24 hours because this is a 24 hour open passage that connects central to the escalator and so people can walk through this and go all the way they need to go. This is always open, it's pretty cool as well. On this side of the upper floor, they have more local produce stuff and few stalls are not yet open. Maybe it's decent earrings. <laughs> sure. Like that. Brava. Is it nice? <laughs> mm hmm Gago. <laughs> Gago. This is a pretty cool bouquet of flowers. Kekeri. <laughs> yeah. I, I found something useful. If you need some toothpick, just get one of this one. <laughs> you can use as a toothpick. See. Sí. Brava, mother mia. This is again another regional stalls that they preserve. But when you get tired roaming around, checking around, you can just go and lie down there for a while. I don't, I don't think that's the use of these. <laughs> yeah, they could though. But they said it's a play, playground for all. That was, so. that was below. <laughs> that was the other floor downstairs. Yeah, but they put here. Mm-hmm, sure. We are now in the other side. This is where I was talking before, there's the 24-hour passage. And here they have all these stalls that they serve uh, street food. So they try to preserve the street food culture here in Hong Kong, in here as well. I don't think the stalls are open 24 hours, but of course the passage is. These are the stalls that you can take away. It's yeah. not, you can't really Yeah, there's no, there's no table or anything. It's just more like street food. So normally in street food, you just go, you take away and you eat somewhere else. Same concept here uh, in a closed environment. And again, it's pretty cool, I think, because if you look at the ceiling, um, there's few plants. Plants and everything, it's pretty cool. Eventually she couldn't resist, so she got, she got a treat.